how did they actually take that? Did they take it positively? <laughs> did they take it seriously? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I, I think I mentioned this before, but uh, my, my first task was actually more or less to convince both Daniel and Martin and the, the bigger team on why we need a brand. <laughs> it was such a techie uh, and sort of product-led company. So marketing and branding wasn't really a sort of a prioritized field. Um, so in the beginning, I was uh, more or less told, like, yeah, but you know, manage the journalists and you know, keep control over the communication, but we don't need to create a brand. It's not necessary. It's going to be the matrix of music. Like, if you have the best code, we don't need any brand. <laughs> <laughs> so prior to that workshop, I actually did um, like a little speech, uh, and I talked them through why we need a brand, and gave an example such as, you know, you can buy a coffee at a gas station for tea crooner, but you can also buy a coffee at Starbucks and you pay 45 and it's okay because people enjoy the experience of sipping a coffee from a Starbucks mug and it's all about the brand. You're willing really to pay for something if it gives you something. And I also feel like music has such a emotional connection to so many people, so it would be one of the most, I think, interesting challenges and opportunities to build around a brand around music. Mm -hmm because it's such a dear subject to our hearts. And um, I started going over 2010, 2011, mm -hmm. and I think, uh, for me, it was a great experience, because it felt like we, we did it all over again, we launched Spotify, but now we had a few learnings under our belts from the European launches. Mm -hmm. But it was kind of nerve-wracking, because it was you know one of the biggest music markets in the world, and uh, it's kind of hard to get the licensing deals done because it's a, it's a market that they're protective of. So we worked really hard and I remember like the first year I didn't even remember it being spring or winter or I was just so like focused. <laughs> but it, it turned out great. How um, long did you stay there in the US? Uh, all in all I, I ended up spending five years there. Okay. So you were supposed to go for three months? Yeah. Yeah. I can sort of... Um, I can change everything in my life if I want to. I'm the director of how I want to live and how I want to behave and what I want to do. And, and I've seen things happen that people said were impossible. Because in the beginning, with Spotify, people said, this is impossible, we're never going to succeed. But we did. So I know that things that seem impossible are actually doable. So I understand that whatever we put our focus on, whatever I put my energy and love and passion into, it, it can create something great. 